Good morning, everyone. Pastor Aaron here with the Robinson Free Methodist Church. Uh, it is good to pray with you for Crawford County this morning. And before we pray, I just wanted to share a quick text with you. In the book of Micah, chapter 6, it says this, He has shown you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly before thy God. To act or to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly before thy God. What is justly? We get our word justice as a root from justly. We are to be people of justice. And it's interesting right now, uh, it seems that we are watching every day uh, people who is crying out for justice. Now the question is, is what is our role in securing that justice for them? And, you know, setting all politics aside, I would say this. I would say that part of the role in securing justice for people who are looking for justice is lifting them up. And I think it's one of the prime examples that Jesus followed. Jesus really demonstrated a love that said this, I will elevate other people at my expense. And so let me encourage you today, uh, for you who feel a burden to do justice Elevate someone else at your expense. Elevate specifically perhaps those people who you know have been treated unjustly, because in doing so, you are his hands and feet. The word said, do justly to love mercy. What is mercy? Well, mercy is getting what you do not deserve. Or forgive me, let me say it this way. It's not getting what you do deserve. I think we're very good as a people, very, very good at being able to go and being able to set people straight and to pronounce justice upon them uh, which oftentimes really isn't justice it's judgment but to pronounce that judgment upon them to elevate us at their expense but the scripture is clear here that we are to be a people who loves mercy and who makes a practice in our lives of giving people what they don't deserve or not giving people forgive me not giving people what they do deserve um, to do justice, to love mercy, to walk humbly before God. I think the struggle with most of us is that we go and we think that we can handle the circumstances of our life apart from God. That's, that's sin, right? But it isn't even so much of that we think we can. It's what is driving that thinking that we can. And I believe that what that is is pride. We have within us a sense of pride saying we don't need God. And God has within him a love that says, yes, you do, and I'll prove it to you. So to do justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly before our God, that is what God is asking us to do. Let's pray towards that end. Father, today we come before you and we thank you that you love us, that you love us when we don't do justly, you love us when we don't love mercy, and you love us when we don't walk humbly before you. But God, in the midst of that, you know, you draw us to those places because you didn't just suggest them to us. You showed them to us as a better way of life through the person of Jesus. And so, Father, I pray. I pray, Lord God, that through Crawford County, we may be a people who does justice. We may be a people who raises the standard. God, there are so many different places where their justice is needed in our county. Father, we pray, Lord, for those who need economic justice who need to have their standard elevated. And we pray, God, that you would help us. Ah, there's so many different ways that we can do that, but you would help us, God, in educating them. You would help us, Lord God, in standing with them, especially since so many of them lack fathers of, of, of consequence in their lives. Father, you would help us by supporting the women who often are found raising these children, these children who are in need of economic justice. Father, we pray for racial justice to occur. Father, we pray that we would be a people, again, setting all politics aside, we would be a people who does not look at our fellow man as red and yellow, black and white. But we'll remember the last words of that chorus where it says they are precious in his sight. And we'll remember, God, that we are to treat each person as they are the image of God. And Father, there is no divide. There is one race and we are to be a people of unity. 
Father, I pray, Lord, that we would love mercy. Father, all around us are people who have made their mistakes. And sadly, God, many of those people feel they can't come to the church because they'll be judged. God, let the church earn a new reputation. Instead of being known for our judgment and our law, Father, help us to be people who are known for our love and our compassion. Father, I pray that every church in Crawford County would be known for love and compassion, and that, God, while we still will teach the word, we still will call sin, sin, we'll recognize that sin is just a lack of exposure to the perfect plan of God. Father, and finally, in walking humbly before you, God, there are so many people out there who would argue they have the way. Lord, especially in politics, we have the solution, we have the way, and so many times those solutions and ways, they are not from you. Father, I pray for our leaders, our mayor, Father, our, our, our county council, uh, Father, our governor, our president, God. I pray, Lord, that they would be a people who would hear from God and do what he says. Father, we're not talking about making a religious system in our government. Father, we're talking about people who acknowledge uh, that there is a higher power and that power does, divinely directs where he wants this country to go. So, Father, make us uh, understand your will for our lives each and every day. And Father, as we conclude, Lord, for those who have an unspoken need today, they just feel so burdened, but they can't tell anyone. Father, remind them that you see the need and you meet the need. And Father, that you know exactly where they're at and exactly what needs to happen. We'll ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.